Go ahead, ladies. The tricks of a gymnast often compete with our wildest dreams. <laughs> Twisting and turning. Nice, Rai. Flying and falling. The camera fell. Did I knock it off? Not the brave soul on the bars. These athletes rarely see the risks because they can only focus on the rewards. Accomplishing a new skill always seems to be worth it. They freak out and they get so excited. Jessie Taylor admits she was amazed when this 12-year-old gymnast did her first back handspring on the beam. I explained to her that this is one of those basic skills that high-level gymnasts have. And she was like, okay, I'm going to do it. The beam is only four inches wide, but why the amazement? It is already clear that Riley Brown is talented. She can't see at all out of that eye. And she has, you know, severe light sensitivity. And I tell you what, I mean, there was a time her light sensitivity was so bad, we've had to put blackout curtains on every, every window in the house. And if we watch TV, we had to put a sheet over it. When Riley was only three years old, she had a severe reaction to a common over-the-counter medication. She was diagnosed with Stevens-Johnson syndrome, also known as SJS. In the beginning, they weren't even sure if she was going to make it, so it was terrifying. I want to warn you, the following photos of Riley in the midst of that allergic reaction are graphic. It actually caused her to almost burn from the inside out, so she lost most of her skin and the outer layer of her organs. So when that occurred, her eyes fused closed, and when they, when they spread them open, it ripped the epithelial layer off, causing scarring, and so she ended up blind in her left eye. She has undergone more than 170 procedures to help preserve the remaining vision in her right eye but she is still here, living her dream after that nightmare. There's nothing that makes me more proud than watching my daughter do gymnastics. Um, this, this, is, this is great for her. She loves it. She's good at it. Riley stole the show in her first year on the team, taking first place in multiple events at the state competition. We will now fast forward to her third year. She wants to come early every day, so really. She makes me drop her off like at least a half hour early and wants to just be here. This is her life. She eats, sleeps, and drinks it. And uh, she goes four hours a night, three nights a week, and she would go five if they would let her. Riley did not want to do an interview with me because, in her words, becoming famous could come with a stalker. So I asked her mother to try to explain how she does what she does. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> I wish I knew the, I don't even know if I want to know the answer. It's a beautiful mystery. And I'm just glad she has this, you know, this one thing that, she can feel good about. Her next competition will be on June 16th in Nationals at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. As always, if you are aware of a particular athlete, coach, or team with a special story, I want to tell it. You can contact me at my email address, gshirley at wfla.com. I'm reporting here in St. Petersburg. Gabrielle Shirley, News Channel 8 Sports.